Hey guys, I'm here to do a quick uh, review of Camera Bag 2.0 for PC and Macintosh. Uh, Camera Bag is, is essentially the equivalent of Instagram except for PCs and Macs and it also has a lot more features than Instagram does as far as customability of the filters and things like that. Uh, if you're looking for a cheap solution to edit photos, uh, this is it with cool effects. Uh, cheaper than Photoshop and faster and uh, yeah, it's definitely worth it. I think it was thirteen dollars. So you can see we just drag and drop your images in that you want to edit, and it already has a whole bunch of uh, preset styles to emulate uh, different things from Lomo cameras to the Diana uh, plastic plastic lens cameras, instant, and a whole bunch of different ones, light leaks, pinhole cameras, pretty much anything you can think of. So there's those are already all pre pre built in, and it's just as simple as clicking to add that kind of style. Uh, it does also have regular adjustments uh, for just photo uh, adjusting, exposure, contrast, saturation, things like that uh, can all be also added and edited. It does come with a wide range of borders. Uh, if you want to add borders to your photos for that kind of look, you can add borders pretty easily. Favorites, there's a whole bunch of... Uh, presets that they have installed you can also make your own and save them for later use and you can also download user made ones from the internet for free <clears throat> so it's pretty handy in that respect it can open uh, camera raw files but it does not carry over the camera raw data so if you adjust your image and tweak it as a raw file it won't bring in any of those tweaks you made it'll just bring in the original raw file um, if you take a quick look at favorites here and hit quick look it'll bring up um, a preview of every single filter what it will look like with the picture that you currently have so it's an easy way to kind of see what you're gonna get right away so you don't have, you don't have to wait for it um, as you can see it adds the effects and then each effect well the parts that it's made up of are fully editable unlike Instagram you can go in you can change all the parts of how it looks <coughs> And then you can also, you can stack filters too. Like if, let's say we have the bleach bypass and we wanted to add another filter. You just do the quick look with a plus and then it'll show you what the other filter looks like plus uh, the new one. So you can stack filters endlessly uh, however you want to, however you want to try and do it um, to make really kind of neat looking photos. So it's definitely a helpful tool it definitely speeds up the process people always want kind of like to customize images and things like that uh, this is just another way to do that and uh, kind of make your photos cool and unique you can also remove uh, every single uh, favorite is made up of all these different parts every single part is editable and you can change the positions by changing positions it can have an effect on how the image will look uh, to remove <clears throat> parts of it you can just simply remove those parts and it will remove that from the effect and, and hence change all your different effects so really it's kind of unlimited what you can do and when, when you make cool ones yourself and you ended up liking them you can always save them to uh, to your favorites upload it online to share with other people so it's really kind of neat uh, gives you a lot of cool features to do so I really find it, to, for 13 bucks. it's absolutely worth it. Uh, you guys should check it out. You can batch process entire folders with your filters. Uh, save them as JPEGs, TIFFs, or PNGs. But uh, it's definitely, definitely worth it. Definitely a cool program to check out if you like uh, kind of tweaking your photos. You don't, but don't want to buy Photoshop or don't want to take a lot of time to make a whole bunch of Photoshop actions or things like that. Uh, this will just pretty much give you what you want for for thirteen dollars So thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please like and subscribe for more Photoshop and uh, tutorials